Dr. Dunmore. Doing? Brian, how you doing? Guardians. You. Face, how you doing? Nice meeting you. I think it's best you go with G and, and we'll get out of the way where we don't stress them out or anything. Hey, you want to you might want to take a step back for a okay. minute. Sure. Relax. You're a good boy. We didn't get the muzzle. We'll start with that. Good. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> King. Relax. Does he always have discharge coming from that eye? Lately, he's been having a lot. OK. It looks like he's got a little bit of mild paralysis. I know. I know. I'm sorry. If I can. Um. Oh, buddy. All right. He's scary. Unfortunately, I think that this is how a dog who's been tethered all his life reacts. They're not well socialized. They're afraid of everything, and that's exactly how they react. So not being able to get close to him to examine him more thoroughly, I, so if this is not something that continues to get better, then we are going to have to uh, find a way to get him sedated so that we can actually do a thorough physical. King's so damaged that he treats everyone as a threat, even those that are trying to help him. The only way to start the healing is to get him off that chain.